anybody see me or hear me? I don't want to start unless unless I've got company. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Can you see me? This is the first time we've done Facebook Live, so bear with us. We're trying our best here. Well, we, they're all we. There's me here and Jim in Rochester, like that, on his computer. Are we going now? Somebody give me a sign. Come on, once I know we're, we're there, just somebody just text me and let me know that you can actually hear me or see me and then I know that I'm good to go. Linda Williams, I know you're there. Can you see me? <laughs> oh, you are there! Oh, do you know, I've watched Lou Withers for months doing this and I've often wondered, <laughs> I've often wondered why she always goes, hello, hello, hello. Hey, Debbie Berry from Texas. Oh, the relief. Okay, good morning. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too old for this lark. Look, and I've got a little monkey. I'm supposed to look at the monkey on, on the camera. So there's a camera up here. Can you see me now? I'm looking at you. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> It's a funny old life, isn't it? Okay, so here we are in an art studio. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Uh, now, we've called it the Shack Shack for many reasons. Shack stands for safe, happy and creative. Shack stands for stay home and craft. And, um, and we just thought that it would be a good idea to, to hook up on a daily basis at 10 o'clock in the morning on Facebook Live just to have a bit of an art workout. You know, I, I watch on the telly, everybody's doing their gym and there's some chick doing her figure eight and I tried that and it's, it, yeah, it doesn't work really for me. And so many of us, we don't have that option, do we? Uh, to go running and jogging and, and do our physical workout. And they do that, many of these good people, for their mental well-being as well as their physical well-being. Now, us crafters, we're really lucky in a way, aren't we? Because here we are, all gathered together, and, uh, and, and we can craft, and we can, um, we can stay busy with our hands. But I also think, even though many of us work alone and we stay alone for hours in our craft rooms, there's a difference between having the choice to leave the house and not having the choice to leave the house. And many of us have now been given the choice, unfortunately, been told we can't leave the house, which makes complete sense. However, um, we need to keep each other company. We need to rally the troops. And that's why we're going to have this, this morning 10 a.m. workout as long as I can keep going and you keep watching. So I thought... It's not a selly telly, it's none of that. It's just literally you and me with a bit of paper and a micron pen, just trying to do some well-being exercises together. So, so we can calm it down and we can look at what we're doing. Once I get in the groove, I'll stop waffling. Um, but you, you surely understand why it's good for us to get together, you know? Um, so I thought today, We'd start just with a piece of paper and we'll, we'll just do some doodles, you know, because one thing that I've, if, you, if you've ever read my blog, you'll know that I'm always saying you get out of your head and you stay with your hands. And the minute you do that, you just feel better. You know, you, the anxiety, the anguish, all the things that are cluttering up our heads and giving us those washing machine heads. As soon as we start using our hands, then it just seems to disappear because we're focused on what I'm doing. Uh, we're focused on what we're doing. So I thought we'd take a piece of paper. Here we go, look, let's have a look. I'll show you what we're gonna do. We've got some right snazzy cameras here. Let me just see if this works. 
and I want to show you what we want to do today. So you can see here, we've got these little birds. Now, I'm inviting everybody to have a go. You know, this is easy. So many of you have already mastered the art of making these little birds. However, as a little mindful exercise, these are absolutely perfect. So I thought we'd focus on some birds today and just literally get in, in the zone. Um, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to invite you to do now is take a piece of paper. We need a micron pen. And then we're going to, I'm going to use a ruler, but you can just use a straight line. And we'll just start, okay? And uh, forgive me if it all sounds a bit hectic, but we, we just were trying to get this right. And thank you so much to Jim over in Rochester, who's, who's been trying to figure this out remotely for me. Um, so let's just make a, let's just make a line or you can write, draw it freehand. And what we're going to do is learn how to make these little birds right now. Let's just start with a bird. So what we're going to do, if you can see this, we're going to draw a heart about there. Let me explain something as well. This is not a competition. This is not a test. This is nothing like it. Uh, this is just a, a mental exercise in when, well-being. Nobody's going to do the bird right. Nobody's going to do that. If it looks like a kidney bean, if it looks like a baked bean hanging off a wire, I don't care. Um, but what we're going to do is draw a heart. Let's start with a, a reasonable sized one. And then with our micron pen, we're going to colour it in. Take your time. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Look, just draw a little heart like that. Make it all nice, like a proper little heart. Heart makes you feel good anyway. And then what we'll do is we'll add a little head. Look, so do a little circle like that. See, can you see that all right? And then we're going to just, are you all doing this? There. So now, you see, you've, you've filled the head. And then what we'll do is we'll decide if he's facing that way. Let's make a little beak like that. There you go. Bingo. And then we'll make a tail. So we'll just sweep through like that. And there's a tail too. One little, one little bird, right? Let's do another one next to him. Slightly smaller this time, perhaps. So we'll make another heart like that. And then we'll colour it in again. And what you'll find is as you do this, your thoughts will slow down. Concentrate on the bird. Like I say, it's not a competition. It's supposed to be, this is fun. This is just a bit of playful fun. It's just an exercise to clear your head. That's all this is. There isn't a finished product at the end of it. There isn't a card. It's, it's just a little learning curve, but it will make you, it will help you clear your head. Let's do, let's do another pair now, right? Let's try something different now. Um, let's do a pair that are leaning towards each other. So now let's try something different. We're going to put the heart at an angle. Do you see? So we've put the heart at an angle and now colour this one in as well. Okay. So again, slowly, slowly. If you've got your grandchildren or your children doing this, this is lovely kids, you know. Everybody enjoys doing these. Right, and now we're going to Give the little head like there, okay? So this bird is leaning that way. So let's make another bird. Don't worry about the beak right now. Let's see if we can give these little birds a little bit more expression. So now this one is leaning that way. Do you see? Sorry about my head there. I'm on my own in here, you see. And, um, and that's really the whole idea, isn't it, of this staying safe. So in this shack shack here, stay, what does that stand for? Safe, happy and creative or stay home and craft. See now, look, they're leaning on each other now. Lean on me. Look. Ah, oh, see now that's more romantic. This is, 
This is to, this is in a week's time. Look, <laughs> when, they, when they've been quarantined. Now hang on a minute. Let's do two weeks away. <laughs> you got one here. <laughs> Three. This is quite cool. Let's see if this works. If I can come up here, let me see if I can show you. Just let it sharpen up. Right. So here you go. So you can see, <laughs> you can see they're telling a little story here, aren't they? These two have definitely. They're ready for a break. These two are leaning on each other. I like this one. These two are still wondering what's hit them. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. Camera one. See if I can get to camera one. <laughs> He's still there. <sighs> You've got to laugh. You've got to laugh. If you don't laugh, what are you going to do? You're not going to cry. You know, it is what it is. And we have to make the best of it. And I think together, if we just get together, I'm all for looking at each other. I mean, I wish I could see you. I really do, you know. Um, but I think it's important just to touch bases. One of the other things that I, I know for myself, and it's now, it's more important than ever before. It's about making a plan, you know. It's like making a list. I always, I'm, I'm a list person. And like I say, anybody that reads my blog knows that. Um, BarbaraGrayBlog.com and every day I usually say, well, the blog's called One Day at a Time, so go figure. But I, I do need a list. I need a plan. And I think, you know, my dad for years, he's, he's always said to me, um, oh, I have a routine. I have a routine. I get up and I watch him. He's like clockwork. He gets up. He has a piece of toast so that he can take his meds. And then he, it's like one thing after a time, like clockwork. And, and then he has a couple of hours in the garden and he just, he just has this routine. And I tend to fly by the seat of my pants more than that. But now I understand exactly what my dad is about, you know. And I think that it's about making a plan, making a list of the things every morning, what we want to do that day. I'm sure that most of you do this anyway. But if there are any of you out there who are feeling a little rudderless, who are outdoor people and are now confined, and it sounds like we're going to be confined for a little longer than we anticipated, um, now would be a good time to start, like my dad, getting this routine, you know. Um, so let's have, should we keep going? I've got another couple of, so we've got these little birds which speak volumes, don't they? Let's have a look. What else have we got? Uh, I'll go to camera two. This is all clever stuff, isn't it? Right. So now let's go to camera two. And what I want to do this time, let's see how small you can go. Let's see how small you can go. So here we go. So now, for example, we could go that small. Let's try again. And again, you know, it's like the groovy system. When you start doing this, it doesn't matter if you're just making birds. Who cares? It's about, it's about the more you do with these, the better you'll get at them as well. But it's, it's not about perfection. It's just about mindful play. Look, I'm getting really tiny now on mine. How small are yours going? Oh, look, little and at the end. I, I, I've got to put, a, I've got to circle the wagons and put another, another big bird at the end to protect them. Yeah, that just makes me feel better. There you go. So you see these little fellas? They, now, they not feel better now. So you've got the mum and the dad and all the little ones in the middle. Who's he? So we've got loads of stories. Oh, he still belongs to her. He hasn't quite, he hasn't gone to the shed yet. Uh, okay, try these birds. Try the ones in the sky. Look, so you go like that and then you flick. So you come in from the front one and then you flick for the back one. Come in from the front and then flick for the back. So you come in and then you flick. Take your time. Take your time. Cool, they're quite big. Try some little ones. Look further away. They're looking over there. There we are. So they're flying away and they're watching. That's quite nice, isn't it? See, even if you can't draw, I'm going to make stamp designers out of all of you yet. Even if you can't draw, these are just harmless doodles. Am I still here? Can you still hear me? Is anybody still watching or have you all switched off. I understand if you have. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself though. 
Let's have a look. What's it say? Hang on a minute. Let me just lean over. Hello, Barbara. Liebe Grüße aus old Germany. Elke, grüß dich. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? You keep disappearing. Or is it my rubbish broadband? I can hear you. Yeah. They're still there. It may not be my broadband. I've got a pretty good, I've got a pretty good system up here. But you know what? It's day one. It's day one. Maybe day two will be better. Let's try something new. Right, you ready? So we've done that. Let's try something else. Let's try now. Do a swirl. Go like that and just do a swirl. Go slowly like that and then come round that way. Can you do that? If you don't like that one, try another one. There you go. Do a little one if, you're a bit, if it's too big. Just do a swirl. Are we there? Can you see? Can see you and no problems watching. Thank you, Debbie. Jackie, I'm watching. Good. I hope you actually got your pen out and doing something as well. Have you got? Who's doing? Who's joining me? Who is actually having this art workout? Who's doing a crafty workout with me? Hands up. Come on. Who's doing the crafty workout with me? Anybody? Is anybody doing the crafty workout? I have to lean over because the computer's too far away. My eyesight, you know, it's not what it used to be, is it, girls and boys? Mm, yes, making birds. Good. Yes, making birds. Good, good, good. This is so cool. Pen out, paper out. Cheap as chips. It's all about the head. It's all about the head. We've got to clear our minds. And if I have to get a bit of paper out every day and do a simple doodle just to do that, just to clear the head, why not? Why not? Right, let's have a look. So we know how to do these little birds now. Let's see how about making a few leaves, a little bit of foliage. Should we do some foliage? Right, so we're going to put the birds here. I, I'd like to, should we try the loving ones? or? Or what about this then? What about, we'll try this one. So we'll do one like that. He's a big fella. Right, let's do one here. Okay. So how are you doing at home? Are you coping with this? It's quite staggering really what's going on. But it is going on. And so we've just got to Stick together, be kind, stay safe, keep washing our hands, listen to what the government tell us, the government guidelines. You know, they know more than we do, that's for sure. Should we put a little in in the middle? Look, oh, there you go. There we are. Should we give them all heads? I think so. Let's have a look. There. Yeah. Let it just get focused. You see it? Perfect. So we've got our little family there. And now we'll go back to the overhead. And now let's try some leaves. So the leaves, if we just make a little stalk, let me show you, make a little stalk. The trick to making leaves is not to go too fast. So you go like that, make a little stalk, look. Turn your artwork round and then do a little look like that. You can make a leaf go in a different direction, like that. Just by changing the direction of the stalk. See how I'm getting a little bit bigger? Start smaller, don't they? So then come round a little bit. Bigger leaf. Just do this. There we are. And on the inside, if you wanted to, you could come in and make smaller ones. Look, you don't have to do so many of them. You don't want to clutter it up. Can you see this okay? Look, just turn around. As the days go on and we learn all these different little simple doodles, what we'll be able to do then is after a week or so, we'll be able to pull them all together 
and make a really nice little landscape together. And literally with nothing more than a pen, maybe a little bit of colour, but at the moment I'm speaking to the person who hasn't got a single thing at home. I mean, most of us crafters, well, we've got a stash we could, we could go for years with, haven't we? Right, now let's have a look at the, the veins. So we go down the middle and then we're going to just gently and slowly, look, half is nice, that looks a little bit like one of those Tina Cox designs, look. See, so you could just do half and then maybe make that bit solid, couldn't you, if you wanted to? Great doodles. Leaves great shapes for making doodles. I tell you what, if you're doing this, if you're following this with me, I would, I would probably hazard a guess that at this point you're so in the zone that you cannot, you, you're not thinking about what's going on outside because that is the magic of the mindful process really, isn't it? Can you still see this okay? Right, so down the middle, let's focus. Then we go slowly. I'm going to introduce the veins. I know this is simple. That's the whole point of it. There's enough complicated stuff going on at the moment. There's enough out in the world that's complicated and takes some digesting without having to complicate a simple little art process. Look, looks pretty though, doesn't it? So you just slow your thinking down, you slow your breathing down, you just keep going like so. I'm having a, f a fine old time here. I don't even know whether it's still on or not. Give us a sign, let me know that it's still working. Let me just have a look, hold on. Is it still working? Hello Barbara, I'm having a go, me too. Hello Hazel, fantastic. Me too, me too. Good, I'm so glad, I'm so glad. Only because it just feels good. You know, I've been locked up as well, the same as everybody else. And so just the fact that you're sitting in your house and you're doodling, and I'm sitting in my little shack shack doodling, you know, shack, stay home and craft, shack, safe, happy and creative, shack, that's what this is all about, we're shacked up so we might as well have a shack 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 party, you know, um, got to be careful how you say that though, <laughs> the reality of it is we are all shacked up, and now it's just important that we rally and we keep each other company. Pick up the phone. That's on my list. I've got a list of what I'm going to do today. Call mum and dad. Call Paul. Warm up the leftovers. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's another thing. You can't go shopping. Warm up the leftovers. Clean out the bird cage. He's looking a bit ropey. Sort out the kitchen. Do some ironing. I'm even going to start a groovy project. Look, it says it. I'm going to start a groovy project. That's my list for today, you see. And that means that if I get into, I, I don't know about you, but I get these waves of like, <gasps> it's like a reality check and you think, oh, here we go. What is going on? And because we're so powerless, it's quite frightening. And when I get that, <gasps> like that, I grab my list and I go, right, what's the next thing on my list? And I, t and I just get busy. I get busy. And, and this is a perfect uh, kind of therapy for when you're on your own and you think, what is happening in the world, you know? Whew. Just start making little leaves and little birds and it will pass. It just does, okay? If that doesn't work, make another little bird and another little leaf and just keep going. And watch Hochanda and watch Lou Withers and watch Maria and watch, there are so many of us at the moment just trying to keep you company. That's all we're trying to do. Right, leaves, come on. So, you can see here how you can, again, you can adjust where you put the veins. You can adjust. Look, it's lovely, isn't it? Okay. So, you see how we've done our little, oh, I missed a bit there. So, we've done our little birds and we've had a little bit of a banter and they're having, you could make captions, couldn't you? Look, you could say, look, speech bubbles. <laughs> that could be homework him and her 
speech bubble, look. <laughs> what are they saying? Right, hang on, let me just make a little speech bubble. Okay. Oh, this could be so fun, actually, couldn't it? I don't, yeah, some of it will be, be fun and some of it will be hilarious. Okay, so you can make little speech bubbles, you know, and have a bit of banter. You can pass it round. <laughs> Lynn Bishop, you could give it to Fred, see what he put on. Not for any other reason, but you'll see, look, just a little couple of three dots like that. Before, I was saying three looks good, but four looks great too. And even if you just put little dots at the end of the leaves, what you'll find is it makes it more delicate. See? That's simple. Let me go to camera three to show you. See if we can see the little dots up close. There, see? Can you see that all right? Simple little dots. And they work a treat, don't they? Now, one more, one more thing just to give you something to work on. If, for example, we were to take that, let's just take a swirl. Let's just take a swirl like that. Any way you like. Look, that could be a seahorse swirl. Right, so we'll do that and then we'll go and then this takes a little bit more looking at because what you're doing is you're working. See, because what you're doing is you're creating like a ribbon or you can, if you, if you prefer, you may go from the top and you go like that, like that, like that, like, a, 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 like that, right? And then go from the top again and then go the other way. So that what you're doing is you're creating, see? like that, whichever is best, but it will work really easily. And again, this is doodling, this is doodleology, this is Zentangle, this is just simple, simple, simple stuff. And we could do this with color or we can do it with a black pen. So for example, if you start in the middle now here and you go, just make a line from the top to bottom, slowly does it. And then we'll do one again to that side and to that side sort of equidistant, you see. Then what we're going to do though is come in a bit closer and a little bit closer on that side and then a little bit closer and a little bit closer and a little bit closer and 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 then as you get into the edge it becomes solid black and what you end up with it looks like shade, do you see? So start over this side again, a bit more then a bit closer, and now we'll start coming in, tightening it, see? Go slowly, go slowly, it's, it's all right to go slowly. Again. And this is only play, there you go. And then real black in the middle, look, see how it looks like that? Now this one, for example, maybe it's gonna go, I'm gonna not go back in, watch. So this one's gonna get bigger, and bigger because the light's here, the light's here, right? And now it will get smaller just at the end. Look, see how you can change where the light hits it? It's just simple, isn't it? It's just simple. Try one more. This could be what you could be doing when you're on your own this afternoon, just for 10 minutes. Just get, a, all you need is a bit of copy paper. Just have your little doodle corner. You don't have to do full-blown projects. There you go. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Simple. So, let's see. Let's just recap. We make little hearts. We make little heads. We make little tails. We make little birds. When we lean them in, in different directions, we can actually, they're very, very um, expressive, aren't they? So we can do, we can do uh, today, tomorrow, a week's quarantine. We can do the whole family. There's, a, there's the birds in flight, aren't they lucky? Then we can do swirls. We know how to, now we can even, look, round here, do you see? So this makes this interesting too. So now we're getting, we're getting a little bit of a scribble going, which is great. So now I could use my, the trick with the, the lines that get tighter and tighter, I could use them. See, so now this is going to start looking like a branch rather than just a, a, a swirl. 
So we've got our birds, we've got our family, we've got our, our leaves, we've got our little stems, we know how to make them smaller, we know how to make them bigger. We've got lots of doodleology going on here, loads of simple stuff. And in the coming weeks, in the coming weeks, we'll just do this, you know, we'll do this. Maybe down the road, we'll pick up a few colouring pencils. Why not? Why not add a little bit of colour, add a splash of colour, learn a few tricks? Primarily, though, this isn't, this is not, um, this 10 o'clock session is all about getting together and having a little mindful, little exercise, little workout, little stretching. Oh, I tell you what, I don't know about you, just... Look up at the ceiling now. You'd be surprised how stiff your neck is. Look up. Amazing, isn't it? Look to the right. Look to the left. We crafters, we spend so much time looking down. I've had a real, I've had a real um, challenge with my neck over the years. I remember being at the NEC years and years ago, and my neck was bad just from so much demonstrating, right? And the doctor had said to me, because it really hurt, and the doctor said to me, when you're working down with your head down, every 20 minutes or so, now you've got to wash your hands in those days, what he said was, he said, you look up at the ceiling and it will just stretch your neck. And I thought, okay. So I was pedalling away, doing my demonstration, and there were loads of people standing around watching. And then I, I could feel the burn. I, you know, my neck was starting to burn, and I thought, and I remember what Dr. Morrison said. So I looked up and I thought, oh, and sweet relief, I could feel it. And then as I looked down, everybody that was watching me was all looking at the ceiling of the NEC. <laughs> Little things. Anyway. I'll call it a day for today. I hope that you enjoyed our little, our little shack shack workout. Apologies for um, the glitch at the beginning. But now we know how it works. May I thank Jim for um, all his hard work trying to uh, stream all this for us remotely from Rochester. And, um, and I thank you for your company. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope you understand the sense of it. And I will see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock again. Again, micron pen, bit of copy paper and an open mind. Okay. Take care, be safe, wash your hands, apparently every 20 seconds for 20 seconds, so that will keep you out of trouble. Lots of love to you and hugs. Be good. Bye-bye now. I don't know how to turn it off, though. <laughs>